Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. We're here with our tribe, the Smithsonian's, at Rigo Quarry. And, uh, well, our base is coming along nicely. Uh, the cold weather has well and truly set in. Huntsman, what are you doing? You're hauling wood to a dining chair. Something I noticed just before I started the episode, we are getting quite a lot of pemmican. And then I went and looked at, uh, the bills I put in, and I did it do X time instead of do until you have... X, so now we have 560 pemmican, whereas we want to keep a stock of, what was it, 300, so that's four stacks. I mean, I could up that, given that we now have 500, let's go up to 450, that's probably a good amount to have so that's six stacks and then we want to sort of reserve this for when we actually do need to make a long journey uh, we need to combine some of these stacks we can do that a little later huntsman grabbing some wood for a specific purpose um for a specific purpose that's all i was trying to say uh saki out here just Gathering wood generally, taking it back to the stockpile, which is nice. Roughchild and Beach both have Work Frenzy and Shoot Frenzy. Both got a Frenzy, which is nice. Uh, sort of looking at our defences, we could probably do with beefing them up a bit. Just waiting for this other trap to get built, and then we'll have a look at that. That chair being built. Um... Nice little collection of dead animals going on here. I'm not sure if we're ever going to get around to uh, butchering those. But Beach just doing some more cooking for the time being. Yeah, got quite a lot of uh, harvested wood. They're waiting to be brought in. Let's, uh, let's up, the, up the time. Outdoors is now minus 15. So one thing I did want to do, uh, I did say I'd do once the weather gets cold is I deconstruct that and put a second cooler in there because it it can struggle um, during the summer if we get a heat wave and of course we just want to make sure it's um, tube television, lovely. We do want to make sure something else got killed by a trap. Uh, where were we? Yeah, we're going to be looking to make our gunsmithing. Gonna look to get our uh, gunsmithing going, so let's start with that. What was I saying? What got what got hit? Oh, we've got a mega sloth. We are gonna just leave that well alone. And uh, until he just dies. Bleeding everywhere. Leia. <laughs> oh, bless you, Leia. Trying to clean it up. I think you're... Uh, Oh, and there goes another one. We do not have many traps as it is. We've deconstructed that wall. Okay. I think we will get the cooler in. And then... How are we doing for components, actually? Where are component Nine components. In... We'll wait for those to get built, then we'll think about uh, doing something else. You are bleeding to death, which will be nice because that'll be a lot of meat, and you've got an infection. Uh, we've tidied the pemmican away into another stack, so I'm going to forbid that as well. And we have our second cooler, so we want you to... Probably not working at the mo... Oh, no, it's actually warmed up a bit outside. Massive cleaning effort going on outside. Uh, so, yeah, let's start thinking about putting some more traps in. So, right in the middle there, I think we're going to want to deconstruct that. I'm going to do it all and hope a raid doesn't come in overnight. Right. 
Right, so we want granite doors. And there's our mega sloth. Not there, there. Infestation. Well, at least they didn't come around the defences. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, this is going to be... Right, animals. Outdoor safety. <sighs> this is going to cause a hell of a mess, isn't it? It's one of the uh, perils of building a mountain base, but... Now, let's just... Step it down to normal time. Oh, don't dig through the water. Oh. Hmm. Okay, everybody move up. Rough child, are you? You are incapable of violent. Let's get you to hide over here in the rec room. Saki, I think you're incapable of violent. We'll do the same with you. Oh, we got a light up in there. That's nice. Leia, incapable of violent. We'll get you over there as well. <sighs> Messing up the bloody base. Right, so... And get you there. I might do hold this door open. Go if you can go stand in there. Here they come. Here comes the big boy. Oh, God. We're getting injuries. I think that's the big one down. It's the mega spider down. Just that last one. Oh, you held out for a while. Okay, that was... That was not good. Oh, no, we're going to want to just draft a load of people to go and melee attack that. Beach Saki, I think we might want to get you into different bedrooms. Just for the time being. So let's set your owner as Saki. And set your owner as Beach. There you are. And then we can go and clear up this mess in the morning. Plenty of insect meat for kibble, though. That's Probably a good thing. Yeah, let's set this going. A bit faster. The injuries. Nothing massive. Nothing majorly bad. Nothing majorly bad. Okay, Beach is now being tended to. That's good. So that could have been a lot worse than it actually was. Dealt with that quite well. I think we're going to have to start thinking about getting things like... Um, flak armor. No, flak armor is... We haven't got... Yeah, I think we're going to have to start thinking about getting some sort of flak armor just to give our disease infection Guka Menbi in her head. Well, that's not ideal. 
Uh, can someone tend to that? Saki, I think you're going to do that. No, you're going to tend to Meerkat. Now, hopefully, you're going to tend to Beach. No, it's Gukumambi who got the... Yeah. Decent quality tend. Immunity should hopefully catch up and then outstrip the infection. How are we doing for medicine? 120. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Can you just... finish building that. Lovely stuff. Now we can access more of that. We can get steel traps all the way along there. Do we have enough steel for that? Four, that'll be 300. Just about. We're going to need to start thinking about mining out some more though. Let's unforbid that and unforbid that. Right, I've completely lost my train of thought now. Um, Leia busy cleaning up the mess that those uh, that insect infestation left behind. And now we have all our traps done. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit more secure now. So, right, I think... I think our next step. Oh, one thing. Well, another thing I noticed is we can expand this. We're not going to want all this as a stockpile zone because we'll have the orbital trade beacon, and the orbital trade beacon won't reach all of this. So we want to start just cutting out these to get it to the right shape for when we do get the orbital trade beacon. There we go. And what I'm going to do is just mine out a little bit extra down here. Rejected proposal. Meerkat told Huntsman that she wants to spend her life with him. Huntsman rejected the proposal. It was too much for the relationship to continue and the two have now broken up. Red Meerkat is going to be unhappy. Oh, They've only just got together. Oh. Anyway, yeah, just um, clearing out that so we've got uh, space to sit the uh, sit the comms console in without uh, infringing on the storage space. Prisoner rescue quest. Two turrets. I. Where are you? You're, uh, ah, that's going to take us ages to get to, and I don't fancy messing about with turrets before we've got our guns. Uh, things we also want to do is start to bring this corridor down here a bit, because... Yeah, we are going to want to start thinking about getting our uh, crafting rooms going on. Lovely stuff. More cooking going on. Our animals, our animals can come inside. General, yeah, that's just that area there. And it doesn't include the fridge. Our fridge is looking a bit full. Do we want to expand that? No, I think there's space. I think there's space for us to uh, to build into. Medical emergency. Gukamenbi, how are you doing? Immunity is ahead of the infection. Okay, good. Now, if someone can come and tend to him. And I hope it's a good quality tend. What was that? 43%, not really. Meerkat, you were ejected... 18. Ooh. 20, 24 days.
Okay, really not ideal, but I'm sure we'll cope. Gunsmithing. What do we want next? Uh, hydroponics, we're not really there yet. Flak armor. I did say I was going to look at flak armor next. So we can haul you out. Uh, we're going to want to get the floor done in here. And then we're probably just going to site our crafting room underneath here. Like that. Crafting more uh, limestone blocks. Yeah, we need to get rid of this. Probably go and start to think about mining that little bit out there and deconstructing these. Saki, what are you up to? You're just wondering about. Um, we can do with more kibble. Uh, raw food. Is there a problem? Animal products. Set jelly, milk. We've got all meat is available. I don't know why no one's doing kibble. Because we've got all the stuff we need for it. We've got two ton of insect meat. I'm sure someone will get around to it. Um, so that's that all done. Lovely stuff. We'll probably want another lamp. Let's make sure we bring the power conduits down here. Ah, oh, that's not all smoothed. Let's smooth this so we can bring the power conduits down. Smoothing's always good for building up construction skill. Because it's just something they can't really fail at. And it just really trains it. Where's your construction? Yeah, so that's training that quite nicely. Our cooks. Uh, that reminds me. Work frenzy. Goat. Good stuff. You're a seven. You're a seven. We need an eight to start making the package survival mills. Um, also, we now have the tube television. So where do we want to put that? Just put that... Just put that there and then just get... a few chairs. Armchair? No, we don't want. We're not going that luxurious. Let's just put a couple of chairs. Yeah, that'll do. Bit of variety in the recreation. Um, we've mined out that. There's a bit more. A bit more compacted machinery there. Yeah, we've deconstructed those ship chunks. So what we'll actually want to do, so one, two, three, one, two, three, we don't really want you smoothed, we want a doorway there, haul you off, and then our production area, I'm going to want that to be seven, I think I worked it out 7 by 15, so we might have to fill in that little gap there. But that's how we're going to want it to look. Go cracking on without a pace. Haul you away. And we're going to want... Manhunter pack. 
Manhunting Labrador Retrievers. Are they going to be heavy enough to set off the traps? Let's get our animals indoors. Let's get everyone out here just in case. I'm a little wary of um, manhunter packs. Because I said creatures like this, I'm not sure if these are big enough to set off the uh, traps. So let's get our archers lined up here. Not you, Leia. And then let's get our hand-to-hand -hand people. Something like that. Let's see how this one goes. Oh, they are heavy enough. The beauty of planning ahead. We can hunt you, we can hunt you. We have got some more kibble, good stuff, and we've got a shed load of Labrador Retriever meat on the way. I need to get some more lighting in this space, I think particularly in the dining room. As the power we're gonna want. I want something to come across here. Waterproof. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. Bring that across there. We can get power into that. We can now bring power down here. We can bring power down here. Not all that's been smoothed yet. Goat's still chipping away. Uh, probably going to want more than one light in here. Let's smooth this wall. So we can get one light somewhere up here and another light somewhere down there. And we're going to need quite a few for the uh, quite a few for the crafting area because, of course, crafting in darkness gives you a penalty. You're researching in darkness. These rooms all fixed up. Good to see. Yeah, those insects. As I said, one of the it's one of the potential penalties of building a mountain base. But I think the the benefits kind of outweigh the risks. And our animals, we can set back to general. Do we not have enough animal beds for... Oh, for goodness sake. Because I originally said these were both going to be become bedrooms. What I might do is make one of them a bedroom, the other one just the animal sleeping area for now. And one of the other things I could do is just start to build up the double wall here just to give us a bit more insulation from the outside. It's like that. And let's deconstruct these wooden walls and we'll replace them with stone. Where are you off to? Yeah, we're going to need more steel. Something like that. Pull you off. Go straight back at it. Good stuff. Uh, when would we get the orbital trade beacon? It's microelectronics. you just get it with microelectronics? Good 
because I don't have it. No, I don't have it at the moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven traps. That'll do for the moment. Minus 14 chunks of spacecraft have impacted nearby. Okay, good to know. Not going to go running for that immediately. There was some... Was it just those two I was thinking of? No, there's some more over here. What's that bush? Deconstruct you. Components. Where are components? They're up there. 24. Okay, so we're doing pretty well for components. Not in a huge rush to get any more, but it'll be nice to nice to get some in, in, uh, in the old stockpile. Because before too long, we are going to need a lot of them. Huntsman finishing off that. Pills is on. Smoke leaf binge. Rough child. Cabin because of chemical interest. Okay. Constructors are just Huntsman and Gota. No one else has passion. I think Green might have been. Gooka Menby, if you've got absolutely nothing else to do. Uh, where is Gooka Menby? You're just hauling at the moment. And our dumping stockpile is again filling up quickly. I don't know where we're going to want to... Hmm. I was thinking, because normally you sort of would put um, a dumping stockpile either in front of your defences or, or somewhere just to slow potential attackers down so you can get more shots off at them. But I'm not sure where I'd put that here. Just... It's just like a small thing here, or just a little pile of them here. Hmm. Again, something else to think about. And we can get that jade out. How's our little production room coming along? Pretty well, just that to go and what I'm going to do is get that limestone wall like that go back to mining at that and then we're going to need some metal because we're out of it completely we don't have any for that trap we don't have any really for um, these power conduits That said, we've got a little bit there, We're down to five. Party! Huntsman is throwing a party. Everyone who goes will gain recreation and social energy and a lasting positive mood boost. Boast? A mood boost. No, a mood boost. Meerkat, I think you need that. Attended party. 22 days. That is rough. I had no idea that debuff lasted that long. It seems a little excessive. It really does seem a little excessive, but... You know, that's RimWorld for you. The party is finished. Everyone's off to bed. Beach, just the last one there. Good stuff. Um, and we can stop holding you open now. So I think we need to get someone to go through there at some point. But yeah, that will bring us up to roughly the half hour mark. So we will leave it there uh, for another day. Our, our uh, crafting room is just about carved out, so we need to get that done, lay some floors down, start moving the stuff we have in there, and then start thinking about building some more stuff. 
but uh, as I said, that'll have to that'll have to wait for now. So uh, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.